at a time right now where so many people are celebrating, we forget that there are people that are hurting every single day. Unfortunately, that is a reality for victims of domestic violence. The abuse doesn't stop during the holidays. In fact, there are several risk factors they face while others celebrate. RNA Santos joins us live with a new safety planning you can make right now to protect loved ones. Well, safety is always top priority for safeness, and during this time, specifically during the holidays, domestic violence doesn't stop, but this is actually the first year that Safeness created this safety guide for families to use during this time. The holidays aren't happy for everyone. For Valanie Williams, it will be the first holiday season without her sister, Camilla Williams. She was just so happy, and she was like that with family, friends, anyone she met. Nearly three months ago, Camilla lost her life at the hands of a domestic violence abuser, a man she had been dating for a while. The gift of safety? I think that trumps anything. Janice Jones Torrance, VP of Crisis Services at SafeNest, says for people living in a violent home, the holidays can mean being surrounded by domestic violence triggers like increased financial pressures, alcohol consumption, increased conflict and contact with the abuser who may be taking time off from work. Right now, she's urging people to create a holiday safety plan. For family and friends, some ideas are being on standby. Make sure that your phone is available. And creating an escape plan. Because many times people are fleeing in the middle of the night. For victims and survivors, create a safe word. Have an extra bag at a safe person's house, even an extra cell phone. Because one of the first things abusers do is they take the cell phone so that they can't have contact with people. Torrance says safety plans are unique to every person's situation. Not all will be the same, and she says that's okay. Losing Camilla isn't easy for Velani, but she's turning her pain into spreading awareness, urging victims to talk to someone, to ask for help, and encouraging them to get away from their abuser. This is happening literally every single day here, and we can't, as a community, stand by and let it continue. And I've shared this safety plan on our website, news3lv.com. Also important to remember that Safeness has a 24-hour hotline that you can call if you or anyone you know needs help. That number to call is 702-646-4981. Reporting live, Renee Santos, News 3. All right, an important number to keep in mind for sure. Renee, thank you.